Welcome back viewers. In this video, we will display products in admin page. There admin can uh, remove, edit and do many things in uh, products. So let's go to in admin page. You can find it here also in admin folder then the route. Here we are in now admin route. First of all, I will import the product from shop dot products dot models import add product the name of our table which is here in product model uh, this is the table name from this table we will fetch the record for admin so now here I will make one restriction if user is not login, then he cannot go to admin page. So he must login first, then view admin site. So let's do it. If we are using with this email, if email not in session, then we simply first we make one flash message and this message will show him please login first then the category of this I will make it uh, danger red and here we will give F so then I will return and redirect him to login page now ask him to if he, he is not already login so he should login then go to admin page so this but now this part is done and uh, I will query the record products equal to that I product then dot query dot all here we will pass this parameter of the products equal to products so this part is done from me here now let's run the program then come to debug here and then debug okay now program is running and uh, okay now you see it's telling this I have to log in first so this dot I don't like and also the spelling is not correct and go to in the admin this should be please and uh, then come to your message and I will make them div because I see this message not looking beautiful if I go again here like admin page I see there's no point so I have to enter the, the password and username so now you can see you are logged now so we don't have here anything so I will go to Google instead of typing I will get record from the bootstrap and the bootstrap 4 go to first record here get start then component and then I will look for the navbar first we will display one navbar I will display this one come here copy it and inside the admin folder index index of admin here I will make one class of container and then I will paste snap button inside here that container and this should be here just admin yes, I will. then inside here I will make one another container again so dot container and inside here I will make one table table dot 
table and this table class of table and inside I will make this table dot sm will be small then inside here I will make one t head and inside this t head I will make th of uh, 8 and here will be serial numbers and here will be product and you can make it like a name then will be price discount I think will be good discount then brand and then here will be we will uh, display here small image then here will be for the edit and then here for the delete I think these are enough for now and then we will give it a t-body and the inside t-body one tr and inside this tr we will give the table data td of same 8 and here we will run our loop this for product in products and close here that for loop and for so this for is coming from here from the root this is that variable and passing this one and now to display here first I will display a loop index then will be product dot name and I will copy this one to make it a little bit faster and come here paste 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 and here I will leave it now this one I will leave it uh, edit and then this one should be delete just I will give the name and this one after product name we have uh, we have price and then we have uh, discount and for the discount I will give us so here the percentage said and here we have a uh, brand name so it will be brand dot name and this brand is from product model here you can see we give the backref and the variable of backref take this one from like the brand then the name of this variable it's going like this and this name from the product then this name from brand okay now after this we will display here our image we have to start with html image tag src and will be equal to and close it then here double quotation and inside the quotation we will use the url for and here we will pass that then we will pass the static folder here then comma then write here file name equal to whatever the folder inside the static then here my folder name is uh, image then slash and uh, plus then will be product and then the name of that image in your database so in my case it is image one i have three images for per product i will display the only first image from here i think we are good to go now let's check it come to admin page here refresh wow you can see but the images are very 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 big this is a uh, product name and price and this is discount so let's make this image very small i will give it width of equal to 30 and height also will be 30 i think will be good and 40 i think 40 50 will be enough and make it see now 
everything is good but our brand is empty i don't know what happened i will give the table another class this should be the table underscore bordered let's see how is it and you can play around if you want and if you like table stripped stripped okay should be like this now you see yeah it's green and uh, there are many things I don't like this border I will make this table condensed I think this is something like this for me this is good now here and I will make here some change just for this container empty five so margin from top five yeah now it's I think it's looking good so we are good here so I don't understand why this brand is empty let's see it shouldn't be empty in our product yeah here this name is brand here we give the name as correct name is brand then when we come to here when we added this one this name was uh, brand ID okay then brand coming from here this brand get brand get brand it's not coming from the form data form it's not coming from here but this brand is coming from see the add product brand here okay so I forgot to put that curly brackets here so this was the problem so you have to put curly brackets in the value because we are getting this one from value this name just shows there so save it to add one another product so then we can see before the adding the product I will come here and copy this one and paste it here so this should be the admin nobody should be allowed inside these fields now come to here and slash add product session name is not defined why and here we have to import the session then go to again here and now we are here the macbook pro and this price will be 1200 and this product has a zero discount and uh, in stock we have 50 of this one and uh, this is apple and category is uh, laptop and here the color we will put here we will put here color will be gray and then white and uh, and black just for demo purpose and here I don't know if I see some copy and paste something here so I don't care about the things so this pink I think this is black then well, this gray and here we can add pink also Maybe. and now add this was added here and now you can see here this brand is here already brand apple you see so that's all for this video thank you very much see you in next video take care bye bye